Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Omnus and today I will review the I'm not even sure, I think the third album maybe, I'm just guessing. The second almost. I'm reviewing the second album by Jefferson Airplane, which is Sur uh, Surreal Sur how do you fuck do you say that? Uh Sur I cannot pronounce this. A surrealistic pillow. Let's go with that. I'm not gonna try that again. Um, yeah, the second album, like I said, it's highly acclaimed. I, I thought it was a good album, but I was kind of surprised to see that this album actually got five stars on all music and is pretty much loved by everyone, which I can see. I can see why uh, people love this album. Personally, I was never really a huge Jefferson Airplane fan. I, um, you know, they're of course in the psychedelic era, so I do like them because I do like me some uh, psychedelic albums. But I was always more of a, uh, you know, of a Doors fan, Jimi Hendrix, and early Pink Floyd, early Beatles, or early later Beatles. I'm more of a fan of that psychedelic stuff, although you know it's highly debatable what the Beatles are exactly later on, but you can't go wrong with them. You can't go wrong with any of those bands. Although, you know, one YouTuber hates one of those bands. Uh, figure out who and which one he hates, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, Jefferson Airplane, they are good. I do like them, but they never really sparked my interest personally. This is a good album, I've listened to it. It's like a half an hour long, 11 tracks, it's pretty consistent. But I don't think that this band ever really did something for me. I've heard White Rabbit and you know other songs from them, Somebody to Love, I believe. Good songs today, you know, good track. But I don't really think they ever did it for me. They're kind of like a pop rock psychedelic rock band and they are good, but uh, I, I never thought they were amazing or anything. That's kind of the thing, I guess. Um, yeah, psychedelic rock, folk, folk rock and psychedelic folk. So they are interesting though. They have interesting genres to their name, but I don't think they ever did it for me personally. Um, yeah, we of course have the first side of this album, Chest Funny Cars. Uh, good opening track, it's you know, kind of a joking, kind of a funny kind of song, kind of, you know, takes the piss out of you, but in a good way. Good opening track, Somebody to Love, not, uh, not to be confused with the Queen version, Somebody to Love, but I believe this came out in 1967 and Queen wasn't even a band back then, so maybe they were Influenced by this song, I'm not sure. I don't think they are a huge Jefferson fan. Uh, you know, I'm not either. So there you go. I, I don't think they are. Maybe they are. I, I'm not sure. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this was a good track, but I do prefer the Queen take. You know, good song, but not special enough. It was the first single, so it is pretty catchy. But you know, I prefer the Queen version. Uh, same with my best friend, you're my best friend, you know, the Queen, uh, the Queen similarities are here, although Queen <laughs> is a newer band compared to Jefferson, you know, they're both old as bands, but you know what I mean. Uh, today, you know, <laughs> I prefer the Smashing Pumpkins version, I'm, I mean, I prefer pretty much every song uh, from other bands rather than this band, so... Not a bad track, but I'd rather listen to that song rather than this today version. So, um, you know, I'm kind of half assing this review, but that's kind of how I feel about this band. Uh, Coming Back To Me was a good track. It's five and a half minutes long. It's a bit more on the psychedelic, kind of more on the trippy vibe, which I do enjoy. So this was definitely a more interesting track to listen to. Good closing side. I won't say but, but I don't really have a reason. So let's not do that. Um, yeah, good clothing track, it is a bit more diverse. Uh, I would probably put it like halfway and then my best friend maybe at the ending because that's kind of more of a fitting ending I would say. But you know, have the epic of the album, I suppose five minutes long, have that on the clothing side of side one in the centerpiece, I don't really mind it. Um, side two is good I think. 3 slash 5 of a mile in 10 seconds. I'm not sure what this song really did. 
it's kind of middle of the road for me, it didn't really do a lot for me, and I, yeah, it's kind of forgettable, honestly, so I didn't really mind this one. DCBA is two and a half minutes long, um, yeah, I kind of forgot the song too, because it just didn't really stick out in my mind. The mind, <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, honestly, not really that interesting. It just kind of, you know, it got on and it just kind of faded away again. So I don't really care for this song that much. Uh, I do think that the last couple of tracks are really good. Uh, How do you feel? Uh, that really grabbed my attention. It did have some really psychedelic, folky influences on there, or just sounds in general. And it was a very vibrant, vibrant, very colorful record, so this was really enjoyable. Then we have Embryonic Journey, which is easily my favorite track of the album, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty much the shortest track of the album, it's 1 minute and 55 seconds. Um, I, I love bands that instantly, like, surprise me or instantly get me, and this song just, you know, it had that beautiful acoustic guitar, it still sticks in my mind. If I did have one song that I wanted to play again on this album, it would definitely be Embryonic Journey. Beautiful track, really great production, great instrumentation. So this was a great track, really enjoyable, and yeah, I highly recommend it. Then we have White Rabbit, which is of course the classic of the album. Um, yeah, good song, I do like it. I do think it's a little bit overpraised in a way, it's kind of overrated because it's like their most popular song and I don't really care for it honestly. Uh, good song, you know, it's, it's, you know, what it is, it is what it is, but I didn't really care for it either, so yeah, take it or leave it I suppose. And then we have Plastic Fantastic Lover, which is a pretty plastic sounding song to me, it's not bad, but it's just kind of... Yeah, I suppose I didn't really care for this song. Um, yeah, you know, it just kind of got on. It just kind of sounded plastic to me and it just kind of faded away, I suppose. So, not a huge fan of this song. It is good. It did leave me on a pretty, you know, middle of the road kind of note, but it was a good song. But. Not one of my favorites. Uh, I think this is one of those albums that is good. I do like it, but you know, I, I do get why people love this band and this album. But for me, um, the highlights are really good on this album, and the low points are not that bad. There's not really a low point on this album, I would say. You know, the the worst tracks are like the the openers of side two, the first two songs. And I think outside of that, this album is really good. So um, I'm kind of mixed on it personally because I think this is a good album. But at the same time, I don't really see myself returning to this band and this album. So um, yeah, I do have to kind of give it a fair rating, I suppose. As in my enjoyment of the album, it's probably like a seven or like a seven and a half. But you know. Um, like consistency wise, production wise, song quality wise, it's probably like an eight or an eight and a half. So I'm probably gonna give this album a 7.9. I think that's fair. It's a good album, I do like it, but it's not that interesting personally. I don't really care for this band too much. I've heard them a couple of times, I've heard White Rabbit uh, multiple times, but I never really like, I never loved this band. I just kind of think they're good, but you know, they're a solid band, but they're not, they're not a Doors, they're not a Jimi Hendrix, they're not an, like early Floyd. Like they're not one of those all time great bands. They're just like pretty solid for what they were, but they were overshadowed by better bands. So there you go. That's my opinion on the band. You know, that's my opinion on the album. I like Jefferson Airplane. You know, you can dislike if you want. Fuck you, but you know, I like this album, I like this band, but it's not my favorite. So, you know, if, if this is one of your favorite albums, then let me know why people do regularly dislike now on my channel because I'm a pretty critical per person. But I do like this band. If you want to request more about the band, then I'm open for it. But I'm just saying, I'm not the biggest fan. So, there you go. Thank you for watching this video. I believe we are at the 10 minute mark almost. Let's make it 10 minutes for that revenue. Just kidding. 
and on our Mighty Badges videos. Like and subscribe to the channel and for videos like you want, let me know what you think about Jefferson Airplane's su surrealistic pillow. Yeah, let's go with that. That's like my best take ever. Thanks for watching this video, all the things you just said, and peace.